Before creating a conversion in the Optibase set, we need to decide what type of a conversion we're tracking. So if we look at the types, we have a click conversion. So this is going to track clicks on your website. We have a submit conversion. So this is going to track um, form submits on your website. We have a page view conversion, which is going to trigger automatically when a user visits your page. We have a scroll depth conversion, which is going to trigger when a user reaches a certain depth on your website. We have a time on page conversion, which is going to trigger after a certain period of time on your website. And we have a programmatic conversion, which can be triggered through JavaScript. In my case, I'm going to be setting up a conversion on this form. So I will be listening for submits of this form, or I will be tracking how many people leave an email on my website. To do that, I'm going to create a submit conversion. I'm going to give it a name, something like email form. After the conversion is created, I need to select the actual element that I'm tracking the conversion for. So in this case, I'm selecting this form. I'm going to click connect submit event, and I should see a, a successful message telling me that it's been added. To test if all of this is working, we need to publish the actual website. We need to visit the website. Once we're on the website, I can uh, trigger the conversion. So I'm going to say something like, something like this. I should see uh, the conversion has triggered. If I go back in the actual app, I can see events one. So this was the event that I have just triggered. To see more details about the conversion events, you can click on the events tab and you can click conversion events. This is going to take you to the actual web app where you can see a list of all the events. So currently uh, there's only one um, from me that I just triggered.